What's poppin' people? PokeJuicy bringing you guys episode number 9 of our Pokemon Sapphire Randomizer Nuzlocke. In the last episode, you guys, if you missed out on it, the link is in the description. And, uh, we did some stuff last episode. We did some stuff. We beat up on, uh, Archie. We met Maxie, who was really weird. We, uh, beat Archie in Mount Chimney. We, uh, beat Flannery. We got the Go-Go Goggles. We got another, uh, or the Go Goggles? Go-Go Goggles? I think it's just Go Goggles. I think I said that wrong. We got another experience here. My God. We hatched the neck. It was a Murkrow. I got disappointed. You know, meh. It's okay, but there are some things that I want to do before we go beat up on Dad a little bit later on in the episode. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and do some of these things that I'm mentioning. So, uh, first of all, what I have to do is go ahead and grab IQ out of the box. So, I'm going to go do that. And I'm going to put Murkrow in there, not for long, alright, but we are going to move Murkrow and uh, put Murkrow in the box. Uh, oh, I forgot we caught a Torkoal. We might have to add Torkoal to the team, dude. I forgot about Torkoal completely. Wow, we might have to add, we, have, we may have to add Torkoal. I, I need a fire type. That would actually be great team symmetry, too. We might have to do that. I was thinking Zangus this whole time, but Torko would be pretty cool too. Wow. Now I've got a lot to think about during the episode. Um, however, we do have some things that I want to do. So, first what I want to do is... Oh, first what I want to do is tell you guys that I grinded a little bit. We are... Uh, we're going to do a little quick party recap then. Uh, Bikar Salamence is level 28 now. Uh, he is got the same moveset. He's, you know, he's a Salamence. What can you expect? He's, he's a monster. Next, we have... 7.8 Kyogre, level 27. I grind him up like three or four levels. It's hard to grind him because his PP isn't great on all of his moves. So, yeah. His, his moveset hasn't changed as well. He's a Kyogre. So, yeah. Celebi, nicknamed Tinkerbell, is our starter. Tinkerbell the Celebi, uh, whose moveset is still not changed since we got it. So, yeah. It's a Celebi. Yeah. Next, we have Chili the Electabuzz, level 29. His moveset is not changed as well. Then, we have Core or Steelix, 28. Is his level and his moveset has not changed as well. So, with that being said, I just wanted to show you guys that I grinded up a little bit and got some levels on these on these guys. So, uh, first what I want to do. No, first what I want to do is go over here to the. Okay, I already battled him. I didn't think I did. I want to go over here to the desert. We've already got an encounter here, so this encounter will not count. And I want to get some uh, items. This encounter does not count. Whatever it is, it's a worm pool. So I would not have been happy with that anyway. So that's cool. Uh, the sandstorm and everything. I'm probably going to have to speed up a little. The sandstorm is going to make everything take forever. A protein, which is cool. It's not a bad item, I guess. Anyway, let's keep it moving. Keep it pushing. Keep uh, doing what we do. What is? Are there anything on these rocks? No, there's not. I remember coming up here, too. This is how you get to... Um, what is it? Fall Arbor Town? It is, indeed, how you get to Fall Arbor Town, which is cool. Uh, we, do, we are going to go back to the Fiery Path, however, because there are some items in there that I want to uh, potentially grab. I did not mean to use the item finder. I meant to use... Oh, never mind. There's just a trainer up here, isn't he? There's no items. Just a trainer. I remember it from the games. Anyway, we have fossils. The root fossil or the claw fossil. It doesn't matter, but I'm going to take the root fossil. I think that's Clay Cray Dilly. Uh, it doesn't matter because they're going to be randomized. So we will get a free encounter. Guys, a free encounter is always nice. So that's what we're going to get. Can I uh, touch these rocks, please? All right, I just want to see if there's anything on these rocks. There's not... Um, I'm really glad she didn't turn around. I don't want to battle any of these people. I could have done that during grinding, but I did not. There's a red flute. I guess I can clear the bag for a red flute. I don't even know what a red flute does. So, yeah. Heal powder. That could be useful. Poke doll. Let's just... Actually... No, we'll keep that in case we run into a Wobbuffet or something crazy. Fluffy tail, same thing. Everstone. I'm never going to use an Everstone. I'm going to toss it. I'm never going to use an Everstone. I could have sold it. I'm stupid. Anyway, we're going to get the Red Flute. I wonder what an Everstone actually goes for. Probably a lot, right? Probably not. Anyway, a Celio. That would have been a cool encounter, too. Um, so, uh, we're just going to run away from this thing and uh, do our best to uh, avoid as many encounters and people as we can. Uh, more encounters, more people. Celio. And uh, isn't this where the Reggie Rock thing is? Or Reggie, Reg, Reggie Trio thing is? I don't know. TM01. Which is usually focus punch. What did it randomize into is the question. Hydro Pump. Good God. Kyogre. Focus punch. Okay. Chili can get Hydro Pump. 
No. I'm not gonna do that yet. We're gonna wait. I know that I've got a lot of TMs that I could teach some of my Pokemon as well. So I don't want you guys to think that I'm stupid and I haven't been doing it. I'm just kind of waiting for the opportune time and for the opportune move to teach someone. So we get we get our fossil, we get the items that are there. Now we can go in here. I do have to teach IQ strength, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And uh, we can get some uh, we can get a TM in here. And the reason that I wanted to get this TM is because it's usually toxic. So that means any Pokemon can learn whatever TM this is gonna be randomized into. So we're gonna teach IQ strength. Uh, we're gonna get rid of Tail Whip. It doesn't really matter because he's dead. Uh, we got a Barboach. We already caught one of those in here, so I don't really care. Uh, okay, so we can move this boulder. All right, so let me slow down, and let's uh, let's move around in here. Let's, uh, let's see what we can do. Okay, so what I have to do is do this, do that. What, is there an item here? No. What about here? No. All right, cool. So next, I move here, go straight up, and there's an item up there. A gold bat would have been cool. Uh, I could have got a crow bat. That would have been nice. Anyway, this is TM30. So it's not toxic. It usually is, I thought. Camouflage. Wow. Amazing. So, now what I can do is push this all the way down. Not all the way down. Probably not. I actually have to push it all the way down. Okay. Push that all the way over. Then I push that over. And I can get through. And this TM, it's not a TM, it's a Moonstone. So that was actually not, to or it usually is toxic, but it got randomized into TM30, I guess. That's really, I don't know if that's how that works. Maybe I'm stupid. I could be stupid. That that could be a possibility. Grumpig would have been a cool Pokemon, too. I could be stupid. That could be a possibility for sure. Weeping Bell, that would have been cool as well. Even though we have a million grass types already. So, sorry about the speeding up, guys. I'm just trying to get through here and uh, do as fast as we can in an, a quick fashion. Uh, yeah, so we can just zoom through here now. It's essentially the same as going through the desert. I will go through the desert next time, however. And uh, we do encounter an Altaria here. Wish that would have been on my first encounter, but it wasn't. Oh my god, no. Come on, little boy. Don't do this to me. Why did I focus energy? Help me. Okay, we crit and... The Deoxys. That was scary. Alright, you're dead, though. Alright, Youngster Neil, please don't challenge me again, you jerk. I'm trying to get through here as fast as I can. I'm trying to speed up. That way we can... You know what? Let me not speed up. Let's just walk slowly. Maybe we won't encounter any Pokemon or trainers. See? This is nice. Speeding up is overrated. Okay, never mind. We found a, we found a Pokemon. Never mind. We found a Pokemon. Now I'm mad. Now I'm speeding up. Now I'm angry speeding up. We found a Metapod here. Wow. Don't, don't turn and battle me, you fool. Alright, cool. So now we are where we want to be. We are in Fall Arbor Town, ladies and gentlemen. So we can go ahead and revive our fossil. We are going to go ahead and revive our fossil. Hopefully it's something good. Hello. Wait, I can't do... Wow, I have to go to Petalburg. I hate life. Okay, TM28 is going to be randomized though, so that's fine. String shot. This episode is turning into a bust. Awesome. So, we have to go back to Petalburg. Wait. No, Rustboro. Rustboro, not Petalburg. Rustboro. So, we have to go to Rustboro. I don't know why I went this way instead of just going the other way. It would have been easier for me. But whatever. Whatever, whatever, whatever. So, the other way would have been so easy. The other way would have been so much easier to get to Rustboro. Man, I can't turn back now. That'll just make me look like an idiot. Alright, so I already look like enough of an idiot as it is anyway, so. Uh, we're gonna go over here. Oh, wait, no, we can get the Rustboro through the tunnel. It's fine. Through the uh, Rustboro turn. Rustboro tunnel or Verdant Turf tunnel? I don't know what the tunnel's called. We're gonna get through here, though. Hurrying up, guys. Hurrying up as fast as I can. I don't know why I thought you'd buy fossils there when you obviously do not. Another Shogun. There are Shoguns everywhere in this game. Why am I encountering every single Pokemon possible? All right, let's slow it down. The music is going to be so annoying. I'm really sorry about that, by the way. <laughs> the music is going to be really annoying because it's been sped up the whole time. But whatever. It doesn't matter. You guys are going to be fine. I think you guys are going to be just fine. So we're going to get through here. We are going to encounter Pokemon. It is a gloom. But we've already got an encounter on this route, and it was our chili Electabuzz. So, yeah. Anyway. Oh, my goodness. Okay, speedy up. All right, speeding up is not enough. 
it's not enough. It's it's gonna. It's, I'm gonna lose my mind. But I can't run indoors, so I have to speed up a little. Um, is it you? It is you. Wait, that thing you have there—that's a Pokemon fossil. Or is that a Pokemon fossil? Yes. Alright, so I have to leave. I wonder if going downstairs and coming back is enough. I think it is. Yep. Fossilized Pokemon brought back to life. Fossil was an Pokemon. Flygon! <gasps> oh my god, it was a Flygon! Alright, stop going back upstairs. I need to go get IQ out of the party right now. Please go away, IQ. Please. I love you. Thank you for breaking rocks and pushing rocks for me, but... Oh, I have two dragon types, though. Does it, does it matter? I mean, it does matter to me. I don't know, man. That's that's tough. I don't... I, I would love to use a Flygon. What do I even name you? What do I even name a Flygon? I'm gonna name you... I am gonna name you... Lonely. I'm gonna name you Lonely because every single other dragon type is getting Mega Evolutions, and you are not. Lonely the Flygon. That's a sad, sad reason, but that's fine. I usually name my Cubones Lonely, uh, but Flygon kind of works too in this case. So Flygon has Bite, Sand Attack, Faint Attack, and Sand Tomb. All these attacks. Two of them. Why does he have Dark type moves? When does Flygon get any good moves? I don't know. We're going to keep Flygon in the party for now. I'm going to give him the EXP share too, because why not? I mean that's that's powerful. I'm on I'm being honest. Like that's that's a powerful Pokemon for us to have. That's pretty cool. So I didn't mean to press use, Dad. <laughs> I'm gonna give Flygon the uh the XP share. I Honestly it's hard for me to add this to the team. I really wanted to add Torkoal, but I mean like if it had been any other Pokemon, Torkoal would have been added. But this is just it's almost too good. Does Flygon learn focus punch? I bet it does. No it doesn't. Wait, why does... I thought it did. Hmm, I'm stupid. Alright, cool. There's, like, no other good moves for us either. That sucks. Shockwave? No one learned Shockwave. Amazing. So, that's overheat, though, so nobody can learn that. That's fine. So, we are going to get up out of here. The Flygon is definitely an amazing encounter. I'm not sure if he's going to be on the layout. I guess he could be. I guess I could put him on the layout. I have no reason not to. I mean, it's just because, like, I honestly... I'm debating in my mind on whether I want to add Flygon to the team or whether I want to add Torkoal because you never see a Torkoal. I mean, you never really see a Flygon either. I guess it kind of evens out. I mean, you see Torkoal less because nobody even wants to use a Torkoal. I actually don't mind using Torkoal. I think that would be a cool Pokemon to use. Where did you get Surfing I don't even remember. I have no idea. We're going to run into a Pokemon here, of course, because why not? It's a Slugma. Uh, didn't I catch one of these? Maybe not. I guess not. Maybe I caught him at cargo. Maybe I had a chance to and didn't. Anyway, we're back. We're back in Dad's town. Petalburg City. And, uh... I'm nervous. I'm a nervous Nelly. I'm really scared. I have no idea uh, what's going to happen in this gym. And I'm nervous. I'm genuinely nervous. Do you sell anything not potions? Super potions. Thank God. Thank God for you. I'm going to buy ten of these. I think that should be enough. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get up get up out and go into Dad's gym. So, what are these rooms? What are these rooms? Accuracy room. What's this room? Speed room. I think the accuracy room is where I'd like to go. I do not mind accuracy being raised on these Pokemon. So, what I'm going to do is lead with Kyogre because he is the least leveled up in the party, aside, obviously aside from Flygon. Uh, and we'll see what happens. Um, Umbreon is her Pokemon. So, that's cool. I'm just going to Water Pulse. X Accuracy. Okay. I'm going to Water Pulse. That did a lot. Water Pulse again. Quick Attack did not miss, amazingly. 
Uh, Water Pulse still does a lot, so this should kill unless she heals up. She's not going to. So Water Pulse is going to kill. And uh, Lonely's going to get some EXP along with Kyogre. That's pretty nice. Um, I'm, I'm not going to like speed up consistently, but I am going to do a little bit of like tapping the speed up button. Defense room or the recovery room. Okay, I'd rather go to the defense room. I'd rather go to the defense room. This is such a cool layout to the gym, too. I don't know if I ever mentioned this, but I love this gym. I think it's so interesting and neat. I think it's a really cool concept, and I like that Pokemon did this. I wish they would do it again. Obviously, they did, but oh my god. Okay. Obviously, they did do it again uh, with the remakes, but yeah, it's really cool. It's a cool concept. Anyway, Golem is going to go down. Nice. Kyogre's level 28, which is really cool. Does he learn a new move? No, he learns a new move at 30, I think. Lonely gets level 21, which is cool. And speaking of cool, we beat Cool Trainer Glory, so not bad. Not bad. So we can go to the Strength Room or the One Hit KO Room, isn't it? Yeah, I'm not going in there. I'll go to the Strength Room. I'm scared of the One Hit KO Room, because if any of my Pokemon get One Hit KO'd, I will not be very happy about that. So we're going to go ahead and uh, do this. Let's see what we can do. I don't even know what to do after Petal Bird. What do we even do? Blaziken. Oh, God. Well, uh, every single Pokemon has been pretty much handled by Kyogre, except for Umbreon, so that's cool. Uh, X attack. This is dead in one hit, so that X attack did not mean anything. So, unfortunately for uh, this trainer, the X attack didn't matter, and we were able to defeat her and best her. So, uh, yeah. Do you want to go through? Absolutely, I do. Hey, Pops! What's happening, old man? What's popping, Pops? Look at me. I'm popping around in your gym. Look at this. Look at me. I beat every single trainer in your gym. I'm literally walking circles around you right now. Squares. Walking squares because I can't walk in a diagonal direction at all. So I'm walking in squares around you, Dad. What are you going to do? What are you doing, Dad? You just standing there? You're just going to let me... You, all, right, all right, let me... Right. Hey, Dad. I'm behind you. I wish I could, like, tap his shoulder and then run back to the front of him, but I can't. Anyway... <laughs> So you did get four gem badges. Fine. As I promised, we will have a Pokemon battle. Tricity. I'm so happy that I can have a real battle with my own child. But a battle is a battle. I will do everything in my power as a gym leader to win! You better give it your best shot, too. Yes, sir. That was a powerful voice. I feel like that voice was powerful. Anyway, Norman's so cool, dude. Norman was so cool. I want Norman to be my dad. <laughs> Octillery is going to come out. I'm going to switch into Electabuzz. Um, because I don't want Kyogre to just solo the gym, because it honestly could. I'm going to go into Electabuzz, though. Jesus, Octazuki did a lot. So, I'm going to Thunder Punch. Please don't miss, as we miss. Bubble Beam should not kill me. Okay, then, Artillery. Calm down. So, I'm going to heal up. That was pretty scary. Electabuzz takes a lot of damage from these moves. I'm going to go for Soda Pop. Soda Pop! Bubble Beam. Jesus! Okay, alright, that's enough artillery. I get it. I get it. You're a strong Pokemon, so I'm gonna switch out into Tinkerbell or Kyogre. Uh, I'm actually going to Salamence. I'm gonna go into Salamence. And, uh, he's gonna go for another Bubble Beam. That should not do that much. We are the same level, so it's kinda scary. Okay. That did, did a lot. Did more than I hoped. Uh, okay, so what I'm gonna do now is. Well, it is in the rain. That's a little unfortunate, too. Headbutt. Does not do half. We do get a flinch. Headbutt again. Can we get a crit? No. Okay, so he's probably going to heal up. Oh. oh! Oh my god, we lived! We fucking lived! Alright, dude. Alright, dad. I, I get it. I mean, like, you, you really wanted to show me up, huh? Jesus Christ. Why does Octillery 6 owe me? All right, Kyogre, you can handle this thing. I believe in you. Body slam. I did not want to solo with Kyogre, and here we are. <laughs> this is where we end up. Jesus, man. This Octillery just completely bodied me. Side beam? Okay, cool. No, we missed. I got paralyzed. Cool. Holy shit, dude. This Octillery just completely bodied me. Hello? Sorry about that, guys. The uh, emulator froze. But anyway, we uh, were able to defeat the Octillery. Sorry about that, guys. The emulator uh, froze up for some reason. So uh, we were able to we were able to defeat the Octillery. 
It uh, took us quite a bit of uh, took us quite a bit of time, though. And Jesus Christ, everybody got bodied. Execute. I can handle that. I'm actually gonna go into. I'm gonna. Jeez, Jesus. I'm gonna go into core because I think I can take a hit. And then I'm gonna try to heal up Salamence. And then figure it out from there. I am gonna heal up Salamence, though. Where are my where are my super potions at the bottom, right? Oh, uh, they're not. So I had some in four uh, super potions. I have a hyper potion. I think I'm just gonna use that on Mints uh, to get him back to full HP. Anyway, they missed their attack. I'm sorry. I'm speeding up a little. Um, I'm just nervous, and I when I get nervous, I just tap the speed up button slightly because I'm nervous. So I hope this thing doesn't have Aurora Beam, or that would be bad. I can't believe Salamence lived. I know it's not stab, but I mean, an Aurora Beam from Octillery is a really scary move. And it's four times effective, too. Jesus Christ, that was scary. Oh my god, no. Please, help me. Please don't do this. I'm gonna go for Ember. I know it's in the sun. Or in the in the uh, rain, I should say. Let's go for a Headbutt and see how much that does. He's gonna lead seed me. Headbutt does less than Ember, so. This is annoying. This is annoying. I'm gonna speed up. This is kind of stally, so I'm gonna speed up. Oh my god, help me! Help! Help! <sighs> what do I even go into? I need to grind a little bit more. I feel like I'm not to where I need to be as far as levels are concerned. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use a super potion wherever they might be. Where are my super potions? Did I not buy them? Hello? Did I click like B when I was supposed to click A when I was trying to purchase the potions? If so, this is really bad. If so, this is really, really bad. I'm gonna go into core. As they really can't do anything to core except for like stun spore me. Uh, reflect war off, which is nice. Now I can hit you with a couple of rock throws or tackles. I'm actually gonna screech a million times. Goes for reflect. So leech seed is up now. Tackle is not gonna do any damage. Oh my god, help me! I might lose a Pokemon here. I don't want to, but I might. I'm gonna go into lonely. Stun Spore. Amazing. So, I'm gonna go into Lonely, and I'm gonna go for a bite. That did a lot. Reflect wears off. Come on. Come on, live. Don't hit yourself. Yes! Amazing. Yo, Lonely came through. Stantler? Okay. I'm gonna go into Kyogre. I think I can handle a Stantler. Level 31. My god. I'm gonna Water Pulse. That does half. Okay, amazing. Hit yourself. Oh my god, no! Okay, alright, so I'm gonna I'm gonna use a berry. Where's my berry for uh Where's my berry for sleep? I know I have one. Awakens a Pokemon. There's my uh chest up. So he gets confused, hits himself with confusion, and we are gonna beat dad. Thank god. That was so scary, dude. That was so scary. Oh my lord. Holy shit, dude. That was so rough. We defeated Gym Leader Norman. I... I can't. I can't believe it. Tricity. I lost... to you? <laughs> the rules are rules. Here, take this. Wow, Dad. No confidence in your son at all. Dick. <laughs> anyway, we received the balance badge from Dad. With that badge, the, uh, uh, whoops. Pokemon that know the HM move Surf will be able to travel over water. This is my gift to you. I'm sure you can use it correctly. Thanks, Dad. I feel like his voice changed, because I'm so nervous. My heart is pounding. Facade. Cool. While these parents came calling earlier, they said they had something they wanted to give you. Is it Surf? <laughs> is it Surf? Let me see what that uh, TM is. Was it 42? Earthquake! <gasps> no! Oh no, I have a dilemma. 
Flygon or Steelix. I could honestly get rid of get read. <laughs> I could honestly get rid of Steelix for Torkoal. Oh my gosh, what a dilemma. I'm actually in a pickle. Darn it. I have no idea. I have no idea which one I want to teach it to. Oh my god, that's amazing though. That's amazing. So anyway, we're going to get up out of the gym. Hold on just a second, guys. I have to pause the video for just a moment, and uh, I'll be right back. So give me just a second. <laughs> and we're back, guys. Sorry about that. I had to uh, do some quick uh, things. Hey, I don't want to... I don't want to... I don't know. I don't really have to tell you guys. Uh, I, I, it doesn't really matter. I, I had to go for just a minute. It's actually like 30 minutes later, but yeah, life happens. But anyway... We gotta go speak to Wally's parents. I believe they give us Surf, if I had to guess. Um, hi there. Oh wait, what's this? No, that this is his parents. I don't have a voice for his parents because we never talk to them. Anyway, just give me Surf, dude. I'm gonna speed this up. Just give me Surf. So what is nice about this is, first of all, Kyogre can get Surf, which is perfect because I can teach Kyogre an amazing stab move. Another nice thing is that we can get Encounter in Petalburg City now. Uh, however, I think I might want to fish instead. Let me just think about that. I think I want to fish instead. This is in immensely better uh, move. But I'm actually going to get rid of Scary Face. Just just for now. I don't really use Scary Face. And Water Pulse is nice for PP, I guess. And for Confusions. So, uh, it helps also with grinding and whatnot. So, anyway. I can go back to Mom and get the Amulet Coin now, I believe. But I don't really care about that. So, I am going to go to the Rod. Not that. I'm going to go to the Rod. Use. And we are going to get an encounter in Petalburg City. A bite. A Pokemon's on the hook. What is it going to be? Please be something good. A Ninetales. Steelix is off the team. Wait, no. Ninetales doesn't get any good moves. Ninetales doesn't get any good moves. I'm going to go ahead and throw... Uh, I'm going to throw this this uh, Nest Ball. Since it works on weaker Pokemon. And this Pokemon is much weaker than me. And we caught it one ball. That's amazing. So Ninetales was caught. Uh, legend has that Nine Tails came into being when the nine wizards possessing sacred powers merged into one. That's really strange, Pokemon. What? <laughs> what? Anyway, I'm gonna name this Phoenix. Uh, I have a moderator in my uh, stream on Twitch, whose name is Phoenix Fire, and uh, he's a cool dude. So I'm gonna name this Phoenix after him. So he's a cool guy, and I've I've had a Nine Tails named Phoenix uh, before as well in other playthroughs and whatnot. So. Anyway, we can go up here and uh, do what we gotta do. And uh, now if we make our way up to Mauville, I believe we continue the story. Are there other routes I can go to though? I feel like there are. Let's get a, let's get one more encounter to end the episode off. Let's let's get one more encounter to end the episode off. Then we'll then we'll move on. I can teach Flygon Earthquake and then I can let Steelix just be what he is. So um, let's go ahead and get an encounter and we'll end the episode off with another encounter. This has been a pretty eventful episode. I like having Friday's episodes be, uh, you know, sort of eventful. Uh, Trico was on this route if I would have swam, but I didn't. Uh, so, swam. I meant surf, but you know what I mean. So, Route 105 is a new route, and our first encounter on that route is in Onyx. That's technically Dupe's Claws. It's actually Species Claws, so we do not have to catch this Onyx, which is amazing. So, I'm going to go ahead and get away from it, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and continue to surf. And hopefully find a good Pokemon somewhere in this uh, water. So we are going to continue to surf here and find a good Pokemon. Or we are going to not find a good Pokemon. So there are those possibilities. Our first encounter is another Onyx. So we're going to level 31. Hello? Good God. Why is it such a high level? Our other first encounter is still an Onyx. So is Onyx the only thing we can get here? Because uh, if it is, that really sucks. Still an Onyx. Please don't be the only thing we can get. Please, Onyx, don't be the only thing we can get here. Oh, <gasps> that's not even bad. Okay, we got a Marowak. Uh, Marowak is cool. I like Marowak a lot. Uh, it's a cool Pokemon. So, um, what do I even name a Marowak? I'm gonna throw a Great Ball. See what we can do. Um, unfortunately, we have a lot of Ground types. Uh, I would use Marowak over Steelix as well, though. And we're able to catch Marowak. All right, not bad. Cool. So, Marowak was caught. Um, 
overcome its saddest loss of its mother and has grown tough. Um, tempered and hardened spirit is not easily broken. You overcame sadness, and now you're tough. What do I even nickname you? What do I even nickname this? I am gonna nickname you Nora. Not a great nickname, but I'm gonna I'm gonna name it Nora. Nora the Marowak. Don't ask me why. It's just a name that popped into my head. We're going to get one more encounter in Route 106, too, because I'm not exactly thrilled with that encounter. So we're going to get one more. If we can get to Route 106 here, uh, there's an old guy there. Not an old guy, a hiker guy there. What's over here? Nothing. Fair enough. So let's just hurry up and uh, get over here. And we can go to Route 106, hopefully. Can we? Okay, Route 106 is here, and our first encounter on Route 106 is going to be a Wooper. You know what? That's fine. That's fine. Wooper's fine. I'm going to body slam. It killed. All right, cool. So, Wooper's dead. I, I didn't really care for a Quagsire anyway. Let me look at the map. We might not have to end up, so we might can get all the encounters here from Route 106 to Route 10 or Doofer Town, and then Route 107. Route 108, then we're in Slateport. So maybe we should do that. We'll get all the encounters we can. And then in the episode, it'll be a longer episode. Hopefully you guys don't mind that. I want to do that. Oh, I didn't want to battle you, you jerk. Cacnea? Um, my body's in Yep, you're dead. Cool. So, Grimer. Uh, I'm just going to go into Lonely. I think Lonely can handle this. I hit this thing with the Sand Tomb. Good God, that did a lot. You disabled my Sand Tomb, you jerk. All right. Fan attack should be enough. It's not. Uh, fan attack doesn't miss, so that's cool. And we are going to be able to take that out. We'll only get some good experience there, and uh, we beat Swimmer Douglas. Was that his name? I didn't read his name. Is this going to be a Master Ball? It's an Enigma Berry. Close. Really close. So let's go ahead and make our way to Duford Town. We are here now. So we already got an encounter on Route 107. It was our gosh diggity darn... Um, I don't even remember what it was. Oh my goodness, I did not want to battle you, you horse. Okay, you have a Dragonite. That's scary. I'm going to go for Ancient Power. That did a lot. I'm going to go for another one. That did a lot too. So now Lonely is level 24. Catching up to the party. Surskit, I am going to go into Chili and Thunder Punch. Because I haven't used Chili much this episode. So we'll use Chili, Thunder Punch, Metang. Um, you have Ember. I'm going to Mence. Use Ember. And uh, not do any damage to this anymore. I should I should go for bite. I think that does more. It doesn't though. I guess it's is that neutral? I don't even know. Okay, so we run into a Quilava. This is not our first encounter, right? You know what? I'm actually kind of. I don't even know if it is or not. So I'm gonna switch out into core. And then go for some tackles. I'm not even sure if it's our first encounter, so I'm going to tackle um, a couple of times here. I'm scared to tackle again, so I'm going to go for bind. Okay. So he's going to get hurt by bind every turn. So now I'm going to just throw some great balls. I'm actually going to throw a nest ball because it is weaker than me. It did not catch. So um, I'm going to throw some great balls now. I'm just going to make sure that this isn't our first encounter here. Uh, Quilava. That's a cool Pokemon, but I don't even know if it's a first encounter, so I'm going to name you Riddler. I'm going to name you Riddler the Quilava. Riddler the Quilava. The reason I'm naming it Riddler is, first of all, because I'm not even sure if I can catch this thing or if I get it. So let's check the Pokenab really quick. And uh, I'm at Route 107, so yeah, I can't get him. Because I think I already got an encounter on 107. So that's unfortunate. I'm actually going to swim back to Dufer Town just to make sure. Or surf back to Dufer Town, I should say. Yep. I can't get him. That's unfortunate. I'm going to go ahead and heal up. And then uh, Enigma will go into the... Or not Enigma. Um, 
Riddler, we're going to the death box. And I was explaining why I was naming him Riddler. Uh, because when I saw the Enigma Barry, it made me think of the Riddler from Batman. Because his name is Edward Enigma. And um, also, I was... I didn't know if I was going to be able to catch him or not, or keep him, so I named him, I named him Enigma. Or, no, I didn't. I named him Riddler. I wanted to name him Enigma, apparently. So, we're going to get our first encounter at 108, and then we're going to end the episode off. Our first encounter at 108 is a Blossom. We have an Oddish, so that's, that's, uh, Species. Species Claws. So, we have an Oddish. Uh, we have a Steelix as well, so I guess Blossom might be the best thing on this route, to be honest. Uh, let's see. There's the Abandoned Ship as well we can get an encounter on, too, so... First encounter is a Steelix again. It might just be Steelix and Blossoms here. I can fish, though. I can actually fish for an encounter as well. So let's see if fishing will give us something different. Oh, I got away. Gosh darn it. Could have sworn I pressed A and not the speed up button, but what can you do? So, of course, we don't get a nibble now since I messed up. Awesome. So let's go ahead and see if we can't get a bite. Are you kidding me? Let's get off of Kyogre. Maybe Kyogre's carrying the fish away. Wow. Wow. Pokemon, what? Can I... Can I please get a fish? I'm gonna register. That way I don't have to keep going back here. Oh my gosh. I sped up. My bad. We're gonna get it right now. See? Told you. Easy. Let's see what we got. Our first encounter is a Yanma. That is also dupes. So, we're getting a lot of dupes. Um, that's weird. I mean, a Blossom technically isn't dupes. But it's still Species Claws. If I had to catch one of these Pokemon, I would catch a Yanma. Or not a Yanma, I would catch a Blossom. Um, not to use, but just because it's kind of nice, I guess. Anyway, another Yanma is what we get. So, it appears that that's all that we can fish for here is Yanma. Uh, there has to be more. There has to be different Pokemon. There has to be, right? Wow, it's just another Yanma. It's just another Yanma, wow. Huh. Well, I I do not know if that's all we can get. I feel like there should be more than just one Pokemon here that you can catch with a rod. Are you kidding me? I keep pressing A. I feel like there has to be more than one Pokemon that you can catch with a fishing rod here. There has to be, right? guess not. Alright, so, looks like we're gonna have to forfeit our encounter. We might catch a Bill Awesome later. Uh, Abandoned Ship. Do you catch Pokemon on this Abandoned Ship? I feel like you, there's a place to fish here. There definitely is. Um, I don't really want to battle these people. Or anybody in here, to be honest. All useless. I don't want to battle anybody in here right now. I'll probably come back and grind here later. A Sunstone. Speaking of that, we found a Bill Awesome, so that's cool. Um, there's a place to fish here, though. It's right there. We found a nugget. Nice. Now we can get some cash. So we're going to go here and uh, go to our bag. We will. I don't, we don't have to go to our bag. We can just fish. Wow, I pressed the speed up button. My bad. I just don't want this episode to be like three hours long, so I'm just trying to speed it up a little bit. And uh, we get a Pokemon on the hook, and it is going to be... <gasps> okay. I found a Moonstone earlier. We can get a Nidoking. Okay. Flygon is better. Is Flygon better? I feel like Flygon is definitely better. I'm going to throw uh, just a regular Great Ball. I feel like that should be enough to catch this thing. And it is. So, Nidoran is added to the box. So, what do I name you? Huh. Nido King. What would I name a Nido King? It has to be a powerful nickname. It really has to be. It has to be. I can't think. I'm drawing the blank. No! I'm actually drawing the biggest blank ever. Oh my god, help me. You know what? Fuck it. I'll name him Levi. I don't know. I have no idea why. Don't ask. 
I'm in Levi. We'll, we'll, we'll explore a little bit, I guess. We can do that. What's in here? Nothing but a fat guy. Why are you even here? Why are these people here on the abandoned ship anyway? It's weird. You battle. Okay, cool. So I think I'm going to end the episode off right after I get done with this battle. Um, I will do some exploring on the ship myself and uh, let you guys know what I find, if I find anything useful or whatever. And um, yeah, we'll be back next episode. We will do some things. Uh, we can continue our quest if we go west of Mallville. So that's what we'll be doing next episode. We'll get back to Mallville, go west, and uh, do some things. We'll get some encounters that episode as well. So uh, this is a pretty cool episode, though. We got a Nine Tails and as well as a Flygon, and uh, that's pretty neat. I think I'm going to add Nine Tails and Flygon to the team, and I think I'm going to put Steelix in the box next episode. So um, sorry if you guys enjoyed Steelix being on the team. He didn't learn any good moves, so that was that. So anyway... Um, I'm happy with the team right now, and I'm, I hope that you guys are too, so if you enjoyed the episode, like I said before, leave a like. It really does help the channel grow. It's really amazing if you guys will do that for me, and uh, subscribe if you're new. Comment. Let me know what you thought about the episode. Let me know what you think about the changes to the team. If you like them, if you don't like them, let me know. Sound off in the comment section, and I will see you guys in the next video, which will be on Monday, which will be learning laddering in OU and then uh, we'll have Sapphire right after that so hopefully you guys will stick around the channel for that on Monday and I will see you guys in the next video. I'm out.